David with Liguori Drag Racing and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your ECU and change variations of the ECU. So first things first you can check what version you have. If you plug the USB in click ECU information and we have version 5.02 on our FT600. Right here, we see that FT Manager, we updated to 5.10. So we are one a update behind. So we will click ECU Updater. It will ask if we want to save any of our data logs. I'm going to click No. And here is the update screen. To change a variation, we can select what ECU we have, and we can select what variation we want. So if we want Sportsman Box or Sportsman No Box, we can click that. A download is required, so you have to be on the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> it will download that specific variation, and we can see FT600 Sportsman No Box there version 5.02 because 5.10 is not the updated version for NHRA. If we were to go to NHRA Pro Mod centrifugal or the regular uh, we would select that and download that requirement. NHRA Pro Stock same thing. It downloads that FT600 NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle 5.02 and so forth. Right now I'm going to go back to FT600, do the regular update for 5.10, click update and let the computer and the ECU do its job. Now the ECU is updated, <clears throat> click OK. Do you want to open the backup directory? And yeah, we'll click yes for now. Um, one thing I should have mentioned was to always save the files that are in your ECU. If you have three, four, whatever you have in there, if you're updating from a previous uh, version, like I think it's 4.73 or something, where there's four, you need to save all four or all three maps from the ECU so that you don't lose them. So we had one map in there. It was an active map. We're going to open that back up from our backup directory. Open. And then we will write the ECU again. If you update FT Manager, you need to update your ECU. Plain and simple, just update the ECU. The ECU is not automatically updated when you... Uh, updated on your computer. It has two separate update processes. You update on your computer first and then you update your ECU. We can see now ECU information is 5.10 and we are updated. <laughs> 